Hey guys, back with me again. So I'm Karamina Fuadi and on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this hairstyle. I would say this hairstyle is similar to a bombshell blowout, but I actually achieved this look with hair straightener and hair curler. I really like this hairstyle for me. It is very simple, but it doesn't look that formal. I look really pretty with this hairstyle and it's really bouncy and this doesn't take much for me to achieve this hairstyle. I often take 15 to half an hour depends on how hard my hair to be work with. So yeah I'm not going to talk much let's get into the tutorial. The first thing I'm gonna do is brushing my hair but before I brush my hair I'm gonna add a conditioner a little bit on my hair without washing it. I am using a conditioner from Rejoice you basically can use any conditioner that you have but I only use it a little bit on my hand about this much I'm just gonna mix it up a bit on my hands and then run it to my hair and now I'm gonna brush my hair with this brush from wet brush this brush actually really helped me to detangle my hair and it doesn't hurt at all And then after I brush my hair, I'm gonna divide my hair into two parts like this. I'm dividing it on a half. It doesn't need to be perfect, so I'm trying my best here. So now I have two parts of my hair here. I am actually have a really dry hair and oily scalp. I was blonde last year, so my long hair here are bleach. And a tip from me for this tutorial, I would suggest you to start with the dry hair. I actually washed my hair last night. And my hair right now is completely dry. For me, starting with the dry hair will help me better to finish this quicker. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna straighten all my hair with this Philips hair straightener. And I always start with the right part. I take a little part of my hair from the back like this and then toss this part back away. Then I'm basically just straighten it with the hair straightener like this. And I'm repeating the same process. I'm taking a bit part from the back like this and straighten it to the front. I am actually have a really thin hair. It's not that thin but it's not thick either. That's why it's easier to part my hair like this. Taking a part from the back and then toss the front to the back and then straighten it like this. When it's finished, I run my hair like this and then straighten it from the top so there is no part that is not straightened. Be careful, it's hot but it's not really that hot for me. <laughs> you basically can use your brush too on this process but I don't. Now this one is straightened and this one hasn't. You can see the difference right now. Now I'm gonna do this part with the same process as this one.
this is my hair looks like after I straighten all of them right now I'm gonna curl my hair with this hair curler from Reflon the way I part my hair on this tutorial is the same I'm gonna take this part first and then take a little part from the back and then toss this hair to the back and start working with this one but the thing is I take a piece by piece it's not as thick as the one I was straightened my hair with and I'm gonna start by taking this hair and then pinching my hair like this after you pinch it make sure that you pull it on the hot part of the curler not to this part of the curler so it went like this after you pinch it like this and then pull to the other side like this and then start pulling to the bottom and then roll it again okay I'm gonna show you one more time I'm gonna pinch my hair like this and I'm basically gonna roll this to the hot part of the hair curler like this not to the other side and I'm pulling it down and then roll and then pulling it down a bit and then roll and then pulling it down a bit and then roll and then wait a moment I basically wait for 10 to 15 seconds Then after I finish, I just release it like that. Nice girl! And I'm basically gonna do all of the hair with the same technique like that. Before I continue, I want to let you know one thing that I always curl to the outside part of my hair I know some people love have a mixed direction on curling iron and it makes the curls look more natural but I like it this way I find the result is look more flattering to me if I only go one direction with the curling iron For my last part, as if my bangs, I'm gonna do a little bit different from the other curls. So I basically curl it under my cheekbones so my hair doesn't curl here. And for the last touch, I'm adding a hair oil. I'm using the one from L'Oreal. This one is the green one. I only use a little squeeze like this. And then mix it on my hair. 
then just scrunch it on my hair like this. So this is the end result, it looks really nice on me and it's really bouncy But to be honest, this kind of hairstyle only lasts on my hair for like 3 to 5 hours But it doesn't matter for me because I sometimes only go out for like 3 hours or 5 hours And as the days goes by, this hair will look a little bit wavy after it's finished And I don't really like putting hairspray on my curls Because it made my hair look a little bit drier and it doesn't look nice at all And it could basically basically ruin my curls that's why I don't really put hairspray on my curls on a daily basis every time I wear this hairstyle I always feel a little bit prettier and I feel like a goddess wearing this hairstyle that's all I have to say on this video I hope you find this video really entertaining or help you to achieve this look I'm signing off I hope you guys like this video don't forget like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys for watching love you